yo, hey, yo, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, Fuck it, let them die. Shot it, mine and never on me. I said, fuck it, never move. I just ran into a homie. Fuck that shit was hella fine. That shit full of friends, only for a couple of bands. Adversity. The definition of adversity is a state or instance of serious or continued difficulty or misfortune, or as I like to call it, life's most potent season. Adversity is directly correlated to whatever success that we all strive to get to at some point in time in our life, but no one ever really talks about how to overcome it, you know, how to continue to push through it. So, I guess here's my attempt to try to get you guys to understand how I get through it. I just do the most, told them. I could really express my frustration with this vehicle and everything that it's caused, but at this point, dog, I'm just grateful that the motherfucker works and it drives and I got nothing to worry about, bro. So just to make like a long explanation short, bro, we were driving. Um, we kind of felt like a little scrapage on the brakes. Um, you know, we kind of like, which is bad on our part. I can, you know, like, I guess we can equally hold ourselves accountable and say we just kind of pushed it off thinking that we can get it fixed in a couple days. A couple days went by, then the fucking brake pad, literally the brake pad fell off, gang. Brake pad fell off. So now we're just riding on, you know, like metal to metal. That shit's scraping so bad. Uh, so we ended up having to buy new brake pads then we came to find out that the brake pads obviously fell out the rotor the brand new rotor that we just got so if you watch like three or four of my videos ago i took the car back to american tires because rotor replacement whatever so the brand new rotor was already corroded and thinned down so we had to get a, another rotor new calipers new brake pads now the car drives fine everything else was like checked and up to date so now you know the car drives fine but bro I can't keep doing this, dog. <laughs> I can't keep doing it. And I know I'm keeping it light for the camera, but I can't keep doing this, bro. This is just something that, like, I cannot keep doing, bro. I can't I can't even keep dealing with this shit, dog. So It's fixed, though. That's all I care about. The car's fixed. The show, as I always say, must go on. Run around with it. Run around with it. Run around. Look. Run around with it. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Run around with it. Judge give a nigga the death sentence. Oh, what's going on, chat? I had to, I had to relocate, get in the gym just to get my mind right. Man, I'm just, I'm in a place where I can't even continue to complain about having to deal with car maintenance because the problem's gonna get resolved in a couple weeks or in about a month or so. So, whatever, how I deal with adverse situations like these, I deal with it for a couple minutes, get upset, move on. That's like my best solution for like little problems, like. Dealing with real adverse situations is different, but something like that, come to the gym, get a good workout in. Let it roll off my back game. But we're here at the gym. Again, like a cool little, like, kind of aesthetic, like, ath not aesthetic. What's the word? Athl athletic? Ath no. Whatever. We're getting like a circuit workout in. What's up, man? We got bro doing the cardio workout. <laughs> circuit. What we on? We on the row machine. Pull ups. Push ups. Yeah. This shit burning. And I'm tired. Yeah. Tired. You feel me? But. Trying to get it in, trying to get my mind in a better place, because, like I said, don't nobody like dealing with car situations, ever, 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 ever. So, uh, we're gonna finish this little circuit. It's a beautiful side, a beautiful out. God damn, I can't even talk, I'm tired. All right, I'll hit y'all up later. Like, new house, pay the road with rose gold. My newest bitch is way prettier than my old hoes. I never had nobody help me up in my darkest low. She was moving too fast, had a poor fall. We still kind new cash at the bungalow. The youngest me was selling wood like a juggalo. The youngest me was juggling shit, selling for the law. Sleep burger, nigga, I feel the rock. This ghost protein, so fire, bro. 160 calories, 25 grams of protein per serving, 7 grams of carbs, and zero sugars, I believe. Super, it's the Chips Ahoy flavor. Super gas, but we are back from the gym. 
And I had a really good session. It was one of those sessions that I felt like I needed because it was like a healthy distraction. Like one something I wanted to say in the gym, but I didn't want to say it in the moment, obviously, was like something that I found to always be the best resolution to any like adverse situation, any stressful situation, anything that's like bothering you is a healthy distraction. Like the gym is obviously one of the healthiest distractions that I found in my lifetime. Journaling is also one of them. To like make a long explanation or list of things short, just kind of getting away from your problems. I've said this before, like removing yourself from the situation will allow you to comprehend what's going on, get the emotional aspect of the problem away, and you come back to it with a clear mind. And I feel like having a healthy distraction like going to the gym is always like the best situation because it just helps, you feel me? Like I'm, I'm really, really, really big on not emotionally rationalizing problems. So like, bro, I've had how many car incidents and situations that you guys have seen, I guess I put on vlog and like, I've always found myself kind of dealing with it, kind of soaking in it for a little bit. And then I remove myself from the problem just for a short period of time. So I'm not like beating myself up or like sitting here crying wolf, like why me type shit. Like I'm, I'm, I used to be a why me type of nigga. Like I'm, I'll be straight with you guys because we should be able to be honest. I used to be like a why me type of nigga. I used to run away from my problems. And like all it did was allow me to come back to that same problem with the same emotional aspect and same emotional perspective. And it never really solved anything. Um, but as I got older, obviously, I started to understand, you know, and this is based off of like trial and error. But like a lot of the problem is really the emotional attention you give it. So if you remove the emotional attention, then you're just dealt with a problem that needs a resolution. And when you find the resolution, like there's no more problem. Like I found the resolution to my car situation. It's obviously I need to get a new car in the long run, but like for right now, I gotta get it fixed. And like, there's no way around getting it fixed. I had to get brand new rotor. I had to get brand new brake pads. Like it is what it is, you know? Um, so problem resolved. Like I'm not tripping on that anymore. But like I said, you know, just to wrap this segment up, the best way to deal with any adverse situation, any stressful situation is again, a healthy distraction because that's what leads me to my next point. So what we're about to do is finish this protein shake and then embark on another healthy distraction. Kyrie and Anta are out here in LA for the weekend. They're putting on, I think it's like a part of BET weekend, but they're also putting on like an event that lasts all day long at the LA Convention Center. It's kind of like a 1v1, 5v5 tournament with like gifts and Anta's passing out gear. I got some words for Kyrie too. Like finals is over. We, we, we didn't watch the finals. We didn't watch Boston, Molly Wap, Dallas. Next year when y'all running back, y'all gonna have to probably be OKC to get back to the finals again. Just saying it. But I need a little bit more contribution. This whole scoring 32 and then scoring 16 and then and then I, I needed like a 21, seven and six performance from the playoffs from this point forward. As long as you are Uncle Drew and as long as you are gray haired in the league, I need more from you gang. So let me finish protein and then go link up with the guys and Sir Kyrie and Anton. <laughs> All right, chat, the fit is complete. It's giving real summer. It's giving real B1 archive on the top, ASOS on the glasses, Breakout LA on the T, Zara denim George, socks from Uniqlo, Unions on with the nice little crossbody bag. It's giving summer. It's giving like, it's giving like, it's giving like, you feel me? So, all right, let's get out of here. Dog. The homie got a cramp in his calf, in his hamstring, and his ab at the same time. That's what he gets for playing basketball. See? I'm acting my age. I'm only doing some running activities, some light, minimal lifting, and that's it. That's what 29 is not supposed to look like. Right there. Dog, cramping fresh out the car is different. Goodness gracious. I was just fine, dog. That's crazy. You said you wanted the to hoop today, too, right? I am the hoop. Look at it. Lemon pepper wet. Come on. Lemon pepper wet. Lemon pepper wet. Lemon pepper wet. Two. Jump me. Uh, uh, jig, tongue. Hey, look, you smile well, and we hope that you can tell. Go ahead and do it. 
Oh, my okay. God. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I got you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just a five for you. I ain't do that three, four times again. I testify for you. I told I like you, that bitch. I do it all and I'm all wrong. You scared to do it. I'm not. All right, chat, top of the morning, man. So I got some good news and some bad news. The bad news, I didn't get to play Kyrie one-on-one, -on -one, bro. He, he, was, he was doing his celebrity thing, but the event, the, the, event, the event was solid. The event was smooth. It was like, it was more like a, like a BET. It was a whole bunch of shit going on. It was a BET event. They had like a roller rink. They had... A little nightclub in the middle, like a basketball band. But it was, nonetheless, it was cool. You feel me? So. It was far. We should have stayed. He was taking pictures with people. Was he really? Yeah, he took a picture with uh, June, but he recognized uh, June. Oh, June, yeah. Like, he was out and about mm -hmm. versus last time, like, when we first was there, and it was, like, him there, mm -hmm. and then he left at the time. Nah, for, like, as soon as we got there, he was, like, surrounded by security low-key. Like, so, he, like, he was really on some, like, exclusive stuff, but I had to leave early. I had to go. I had, I got boyfriend duties to take care of. I mean, it's a little ghetto, but it was, it was cool, but... Brand new day. I'm here at a new gym, bro. I'm here at the at the the Ron Duck facility. You feel me? If y'all if y'all know, you gotta get exclusive access to get in here, bro. So. Uh huh. Keep up, access only. <laughs> so we gotta get a workout. Ron's actually putting me through a workout. I didn't even tell you, but Ron putting us through a workout today. Ron got Ron been on his bully, and I feel like it's only right that mm -hmm. I don't throw him off his one too. Cause y'all see, he said he should, I think if if y'all y'all follow Ron, y'all saw he's trying to get the neck muscles on top of neck muscles. You feel me? He look little 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 yeah. yeah, this is for you, dude. Who was telling me I was eating too much cookies? <laughs> Alright, man. So, first and foremost, Ron got me doing the Stairmaster, which is already ghetto. Now he got me deadlifting, which is even more ghetto. But we're here. I might as well get it done, you feel me? We worked our way up to, I think this is like 305 right here. Y'all know like, I could like, you know, a little, little tight, tight shit. Y'all know I can lift a little bit. So I might try to push like four places just to, for the hell of it. But we're going to see, man. I'm already tired. My hamstrings is tight. My back tight. My neck tight. Nigga, my, my feet hurt. I'm hungry. So we're going to get it. It's like it's that ghetto shit I was telling y'all about. Hey man, listen, listen. Get right to the dude who was calling me chubby and all that. Your time is your time is up. You're done. It's up. <laughs> all right, man. I'm about to go home and take a nap because I nigga, then I'm I'm cooked. Nigga, knees, back, arms, everything cooked. I get out of here. All right, okay. I'll let you. Got the babuska. Uh, see you. Yeah. Don't slight. Yo. <laughs> We're here at the little Puma John. Shout out Puma for the uh for the good feats. You feel me? There's a lot in here. You can't even hear it. I know. Hopefully, hopefully this mic, if, if if this makes it in the video, that means this new Sony mic I got is not picking up this Brent Fias joint right here. But if it's not, it's it's, it's chalk. But shout out Puma, you feel me? Hold up now. We here at K1 Speed about to get some uh some uh speed time on. I'm about to put the shicey on real quick. Oh yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Should I see with the shades on? Oh, I look, I look like a GTA character. This is criminal. Ew. Tell me this is not hard. Should I see with the shades on? Ew. Nah, that's Watch out, watch out, man. I really, I, I wouldn't steal from y'all, but if I had to steal from somebody, it would be with the shicey on, shades, the B1, and the baklava. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
to like sporadically go on like a like a three-day juice cleanse just to kind of clean up our insides a little bit get a little bit healthier as we kind of ease through the, like the back half of the summer like we've been on like some crazy shit like not eating well enough like getting really lazy with our dieting and like eating in-house and eating good clean quality food so this is going to reset like the insides and then we get back on track type type time but that's in this video bro the puma event was cool i just feel like the event could have been like at a little more enclosed like it, it felt like I was at a K1 speed event and not a Puma event, if that makes sense. But it was cool. It, like, me and Ryan had a, a, a good time. But nonetheless, that is the end of this video, bro. Um, just to kind of, like, resurface the concept of, like, overcoming adversity again. If you guys are dealing with anything that, like, you know, is stressful. And it, like, you know, kind of knocks you off your pivot a little bit. Just, like, a, like a constant reminder that I have to give myself and I'm going to give you guys as well. Um, you are not your problems. Like, you are not your problems. Your problems are here, and you exist here in the physical world, you know, or spiritual, wherever you, you know, so choose to uh, live at. But at the end of the day, your problems do not supersede who you are as a person. Your problems do not make who you are as a person. So you have to be able to put yourself in a place mentally to be able to let the problem be what it is, you know, find the resolution for it. Don't... It, emotionally impact the problem to where now you're living in like a negative space because the problem puts you there you know what i'm saying like that's just like some some like small tidbit tips that i have for you guys as far as like overcoming adversity and like you know dealing with tough times you know because tough times exist in everybody's life i don't care what status of of life you live at whether you're at the peak and the pinnacle and you're making hella bread you still deal with problems bro or if you're like at the very bottom or if you're in the middle bro, it don't matter like problems still exist and like the only way to continue throughout this life in like a positive manner and be able to like positively impact the people around you when you do have problems is to one, put them in a place where you know you can solve them without affecting yourself or the people around you. Two, find like a healthy distraction to, to be able to put it to the side for some time while you really focus on trying to find a resolution. And then three, resolve it, bro. We don't run we don't run from problems no more here, bro. We're old enough now. We should all be old enough if you are watching this and you are of age. We should all be old enough to not run from our problems anymore you know we we face them head on we deal with them and then we move forward bro like that's that's all we can do when it comes to dealing with problems because we can control what we can and the rest we leave up to whoever your higher power is mine just happens to be god you feel me so that's it bro um if you have any topics you guys want me to talk about too on the self growth so i have such a problem saying this dog self growth diaries uh, let me know in the comments i do have a couple concepts that i want to touch just because I feel like it'd be really important to talk about, and I do have like dope video concepts for. But again, if you guys have any anything you want me to adjust, like relationship stuff or like you know anything, 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 you know, financial, I can do the best I can to speak on financial stuff. But like again, I don't have all the knowledge for that because I'm still learning myself. So like again, if you have anything you want me to talk about, bro, drop it in the comments. I'll go ahead and get back to you guys as soon as I can. Um, that's it, bro. I'm gonna go drink on my little drink. Enjoy the rest of my day. So. Y'all be easy, y'all be breezy, y'all tell somebody you love them. It's your boy Dave.